Good morning, my real MVPs. I hope everyone slept well. I hope all is well. But if it's not, you know, trouble doesn't last always. Without further ado, let's get into the spiritual food. So today's title is, Are You Tired Yet? Think about that. Are you tired yet? This is actually part two to um, We Try Everything But God. All right. Um, it says, are you tired of trying false gods, idols? Are you tired of trying money, fame, sex, drugs, alcohol, witchcraft, the opinions of others? Are you tired yet? Ask yourself, are you tired yet? It says, when we try idols, everything I just let named are idols. When we try idols, we are creating a division between God and ourselves. And eventually, we bring death upon ourselves. I'm going to give you the definition of idols. Idols are things and people that we put our trust in over God. God is a jealous God. When we put things before God, we are tempting him to spill out his wrath, anger upon us. The kings of Israel and Judah are prime examples of God's wrath, anger. Families and nations were destroyed, wiped off the face of the earth, y'all. Gone. Boom. Cut off. Idolatry, the Lord hates. It's a form of spiritual adultery. When we confess that Jesus is the son of the true and living God, we become one in agreement with the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, which is the Trinity. 1 Kings 18 and 21 says, how long will you waver between two opinions, good and evil, right and wrong? It is time out for being double-minded. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. James 1 verse 8. It is time out for having opposing views at different times. To be double-minded is the same as having a double heart. Essentially, serving two masters. Matthew 6 and 24 says, No one can serve two masters. If either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be devoted to one and despise the other. 1 King chapter 18, verses 20 through 39, it says, God used Elijah, who was a prophet, to make a mockery of all the false gods, idols that the Israelites were putting their trust in because of King Jeroboam and King's after him, two sacrifices took place. The first sacrifice was to Baal, but he turned out that he didn't have any power because he never responded to the Israelites after much shouting and bloodshed. However, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, who is Jacob, rose up with all power. And authority. God burnt up the wet offering and sucked up all the water in a trench. Hallelujah. When the Israelites saw what they had witnessed, what essentially happened, that God rose up without power and authority, that his burnt offering caught fire, which let them know that 
he was the true living God because he was able to do what their false god Baal was unable to do. They fell prostrate and cried out, the Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. That is what God is telling us today. He is God. The same God that was present back then is still the same God that is present today. Stop trying everything else to solve your problems and try God. Look to him to work all things out for your good. You have to trust and believe. God delivered Daniel from the lion's den. God feeds the lilies of the field every morning. The fowl in the air trust God. Why don't we, mankind, mankind trust God? We have little faith. God says, oh, e of little faith. Money is the root of all evil. Sex is adultery if you're not married. Drugs and alcohol destroys our bodies and corrupts our minds. Opinions are, of others are just that, opinions of others. This message was to strike fire in your heart, a fire to turn your heart back to God. Heed the warning so you don't have to experience the wrath of God, the anger of God. Warning comes before destruction, you guys. Read Psalms 51. It is a Psalm of David. When the prophet Nathan came to him after he committed adultery with Bathsheba. Psalms 51 is a psalm of forgiveness. It says, when we lust after money, sex, fame, etc., we are committing adultery against the Lord. We are putting things before him. God is a jealous God. Yo, let me tell y'all, it hit my doorstep first, okay? Because <laughs> I'm not perfect, you know, but I strive for perfection every day through the Holy Spirit, okay? So, if this message resonates with you, fall to your knees and repent, okay, y'all? Read Psalms 51 and read it with a sincere, repentant heart. Even though David felt he was a repentant man, he had a repentant heart, you know what I mean? Because he loved God and he wanted... To do right by God, you know, because he knew God was a true and living God. So at the end of the day, y'all, we got to get it together, okay? Until we meet again, be kind, be sweet, be genuine, be civil. But most importantly, y'all, keep it the way you want to be, G.